Good morning, it is Brenda from Addicted to Cricut. Today I'm going to talk about how to identify fonts. I get this question daily, more than once a day. Here is an example. Um, one of my group members asked, does anyone know what this font is? Okay, and no one did, except for one person. And she did put it down here. It's the Desire Pro font. It's not a free one. So I went over and I looked. It's $59 for the Desire Pro. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't pay, I don't pay for fonts. I just don't. So let me show you how I would go about finding this font if um, I wanted it. I would first of all pull up several different sites. This is one called What the Font. And you upload, let's see, maybe we can go back. Well, you just upload your image. I took an image, I took a clip of it here, and I uploaded it to here. And it gave me a bunch of ideas, but I'm going to tell you it did not pull up anything free and it did not pull up the correct one. Um, but it did give you a lot of other ones to look at, you know, that, that you may want. Okay, so that's one way. This is called What the Font. The other one is a font squirrel. I did the same thing. I pulled up um, the image again and it gave me what it thought might be some of them. Again, it didn't give me the right one. It didn't give me the, the desire font, but it gave me many. But also, they're not free, okay? Now, if it was me and if I really wanted this to look exactly like this, I would come over to Defont or one of the other free font sites and I would, um, I would probably, because when you first get here, it, it's not set up like this, I would probably have hit calligraphy or curly, something like that to try and figure it out. And then I type in what I want to say so I can actually see the letters to see if the R is right. You know, and I have the, in my example nearby, so I see if the R is right, I see if the U is right, whatever. Now, I did find a few under retro, which I thought was really interesting. Um, but I just scroll down until I find one that I like that I can use instead of this. You know, this is nice with all the curly cues and stuff, but... If I can't find it, do I really want to spend $59 to get the right one? I don't know. That's up to you. I really don't have that kind of money to be wasting on font when I can get it free. Not exactly, but something very, very close. So then all you have to do when you find one that you want, let's just say we want this one, um, come over here and just click the download. That's all you have to do. Okay, your computer should pull up one of these and it's got bold, italic, bold, italic, and italic. So click on one and it's going to show you what it is and all you have to do is click install and it's going to do the rest. Now I will probably go ahead and do the bold also. Install. And the other good thing is, is if I start to um, install a font that I already have, it'll say, you already have it. Do you want to go do it again? Of course I don't want to do it again. So, but it's that quick, you guys. Now, the other trick is to remember that when you're installing any fonts in a Cricut Design Space, let's see what we've got over here. We've got a, a different project that we have been working on. Let's just save these guys. Um, saving, of course it's going to slow, be slow. Come on guys. Of course one of these dogs has a billion little pieces, so that's probably why it's taking so long. Okay, so we'll get rid of those guys. Um, in order to get your font that you just did, which we just downloaded, Sierra Madre, so if I type in here something, and then I go over here and I try and find the Sierra, S, let's see, how do you spell it? 
S-I-E-R-A. Yeah, it's not there. So the thing is that you have to remember, oh, hello there. You have to remember that you have to refresh this. You can either do it here on this little circle thing or click F5 on your keyboard. It's going to reload it. You're going to lose anything that you have on your canvas. So, uh, well, I lied. Look at that. I don't even want this here and it just keeps pulling it up. Come on, guys. Go away. Okay. Let's do this again. Now let's see if I can, we're on all, which means um, Cricut and me, and let's see if we can fit, there it is right there. See how easy that was? 